All right. At this point in time, it's uh, it's lunchtime for most of us. Amy June still has an hour before lunch. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm at home. I can eat lunch whenever I want. I made I'm my an dinner adult. an hour before this podcast, and it's sitting in my kitchen. And oh, I'm surprised no. my stomach growling did not come over the mic. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. It's two o'clock there, Mike. You're eating dinner at two. No, no, I'm in. I'm in Europe. I'm oh, in Europe. oh, oh, oh! Wait, that explains dinner, so what? much. And dinner is a noontime meal. Supper is an evening time meal. No oh, dinner. What? Dinner. Yeah. No, it's dinner fancy. is the largest meal of the day, which is either lunch or supper, depending on. In my family, what? Supper, supper is informal. Flip flops, maybe bare feet. Dinner, you have closed toed, closed toed shoes on, and pants normally. What is we happening right tell. now? <laughs> so for 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 my family, dinner and supper have always been interchangeable. Yeah, no, yeah. Always, that's wrong. I've that's always, incorrect. But lunch and dinner is interchangeable for some people. To be, to be fair, fun. that's wrong too. I don't think we've ever used the term supper. But I'm, I'm more interested. In, more, I feel like more, you should be using the word supper. I'm more yeah, interested more in, in a in, in Amy England. June's analysis of this. Uh, where where have you? Um, what factual documentation have you found <laughs> that supper and dinner are are different in their I, times? I, I, I grew up in a household that came from Pennsylvania Dutch country and it was just dinner and supper. Yeah. Huh. I mean, what I, I think I've right. come down to is dinner. The people that call dinner lunch dinner generally have a bigger lunch yep. than, a, than their supper meal. Man, so the middle meal is the bigger right meal. Now. And the people that call dinner like the last meal of the day, that's the bigger one. So it, uh, usually it's based on like which one's the biggest meal of the day. I will agree with you huh. only on the weekend, though. <laughs> Saturday or Sunday. There is I've no place so, okay. for a dinner in the middle of the day on a weekday. So Sunday, 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 dinner, Sunday dinner, dinner, Sunday dinner Sunday was dinner a thing. Is lunchtime is is like it? Well, it's like two, three. Well, it's not right. Yeah. It's not noon. It's like no. early bird special. But that's, what, it, that's, but, but what is it? Sure. It's the biggest. Yeah. It's the biggest meal of the day on yep, Sunday. That's why. That's why so, I will agree yeah. with you if it's on the weekend. Going yes. back to the beginning of this conversation, though, I really <laughs> thought Mike was adopting the Florida Florida culture down there and getting in on the early bird special at <laughs> two eleven on a on a no. on a uh, Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. No. Not yet. I'm not there yet. I was like. I was like. Oh no, Mike. You're not that. You're not that. You're not that old. Don't give in. <laughs> Don't give in to the early bird special. My kids make fun of me because I go to bed like around 10 and they feel like that's way too early. What? That's not early. I know people I go to bed at like seven. I know, yeah, but you I, know, I have two, I have a, a 19 year old and a 21 year old who, you know, I don't know when they actually sleep. So this is going to be the second Seinfeld reference in, in a row. There was an episode where Jerry's father is getting kicked off the he he's being impeached as president of the condo association or <laughs> hoa or whatever and for embezzling even though he, he wasn't and one of the things they use as evidence of him embezzling was that instead of going to the early bird special they went to the regular priced dinner time <laughs> <laughs> and they're like you have the money to pay ten dollars for whatever you know whatever yeah, that was at boca del vista right uh, no, I think they got kicked out of there and had to go to the uh, one of the, I, I forget which one it was. Right. Okay. All right. It was the first place that they were at. I don't remember Boca del Vista was the first or the second <laughs> location though. But I'm still processing dinner and supper. I'm gonna. I'll do more research because I'm curious what the actual. But that what I've seen is, um, it's different depending on where. At least in the U.S., like I think New England okay. tends to call supper. Like it's this also, is going to be one hell of a lightning talk for whoever figures this out. I'll tell you that right now. It's also like tied to like my religious background too. Really? Yeah. How so? I uh, grew up Mennonite and that's just the terminology we used. Oh, you interesting. Know? So. But, I, but okay. I think it's geographical too, though, because I think New yeah, England they, area, Pennsylvania, like we call supper, the last supper, maybe, maybe that's why we call it supper. I don't know. See, I, I, I I've never heard it called the last dinner. Dinner, I go dinner. Well, it's never. It's, 
It's because it's not. Well, they, maybe they were day. barefoot. To to Mike's to Mike's point, they were barefoot or wearing sandals, <laughs> maybe. So it had to be the last supper. <laughs> it couldn't be called dinner. It was informal enough. Um, yeah, they, they didn't wear their uh, dress dress robes. Um, interesting, interesting. I, this is a very interesting conversation. Uh, okay, yeah, dictionary.com actually has a supper versus dinner page. Not that I want to keep anybody. I feel like it. I now know what Mike's topic for his talking Drupal episode is going to be. <laughs> is, is that even a lot? Supper <laughs> versus dinner, a throwdown, throwdown, <laughs> throwdown. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. There, there has to be a dinner versus lunch page too, then. Okay, oh, so uh, Amy, I've, never, the I've never heard lunch referred to as dinner. Really? No. On the weekend, you can get away with that. I mean, like literally <laughs> Sunday dinner in like, you know, I grew up in a, a big Italian family. So like Sunday dinner was like, was like, I guess an afternoon meal that was some time between like two and four, I guess. Um, right. Our non-patrons can be like, why is there a link from the BBC about lunch versus dinner versus supper in the show notes? Um, Amy June, <laughs> if you could just add, there's a few links that we need for the references, if you could just add those at some point in the next day or so. Okay. Or Dinner no. is a more complete meal. So supper is less complete. Like you, you have like a, no, a then lunch. Oh, well, yeah. Versus okay. lunch. So lunch might be just a sandwich, but dinner would be soup, meat and vegetables and a dessert. So on dictionary.com, it says until the mid 1800s, Dinner referred to a midday meal, while supper served as a light evening meal for those needing additional nutrition after a hard day's work. Hmm. Can you can you throw that link in the show notes? Yeah. Huh. Too, at the it's funny. So all this time, the three martini lunch has been mis miscategorized. It should have been the three martini dinner. <laughs> dinner is like a complete meal, and there's no way the three mar three martinis. Wait, is three martini lunch something? Other than just three martinis at lunch. Well, it's three martinis in addition to your lunch. It's typically. Uh, is, it, is there food involved in that? I thought it was just like going out olives. drinking for lunch. Olives and asparagus. Well, yeah, and there's onions. olives in your. But no, I, I was under the assumption it was in addition to your lunch. You were, oh, you were right. having lunch and three martinis. Not just you were having three martinis for lunch, which seems problematic in any format. I mean, I think that's three it. martinis at a lunch mm. is. Wow. Is it weird? I really want a martini now. If you just Google supper versus dinner, wow. <laughs> That's a deep well right there. <laughs> oh, here's yeah, a regional it's, one. It's, it's, fasc this. it's fascinating because it's, some of it's regional, some of it's generational. And um, <laughs> the, the thing is, if you say dinner in different places, some people think it's different things. But if you say supper, some people won't know what supper is. Right? I, yeah, I think I agree with that. Yep. Everybody knows what lunch is, but some people, depending on where they're from, dinner will mean different meals. So the only one that's non-ambiguous is lunch because everybody knows what it is and when it is. Yeah, so, I found a link yeah. to the regional differences, but I can't get to it because, because of GDPR. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm going to put this <laughs> in the Zoom chat. I wasn't expecting such a lively discussion on meal terminal AGU update. Regionally, it appears oh, that okay. supper was used mostly in the Midwest and the South. That I don't believe. Ah, I do. I feel like yes. The Northeast. This it was. We were supper people. I grew up in Connecticut. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I always called it supper too. Yeah. And it was always lunch and supper. And maybe dinner if it was fancy, actually. Yeah. Maybe dinner if it was Look fancy. at that. Sorry, All right, Nick. Fancy. We're simpatico on this one finally. I saw I... <laughs> uh, it's funny. It's funny. funny. <laughs> this is the most documentation we've had for one bullet <laughs> in the history of talking truthful. <laughs> uh oh uh, god. Well, okay. I am going to eat supper. Okay. Yeah, we will oh, let you go eat your last meal of the day. It will most likely be sitting on a couch without a table, holding a bowl and a television uh, on. 